Hello friends. In the previous videos, we solved an initial value ODE using explicit Euler method, implicit Euler method, as well as modified Euler method. In this video, we're going to solve the same initial value ODE using fourth order Ranjay Kutta or RK method. So Ranjay Kutta methods are a family of single point methods. Ranjay Kutta methods are explicit methods. The fourth order Ranjay Kutta method is a popular fourth order method. The algorithm for the Ranjay Kutta method is given below. Consider a linear, a general nonlinear first order ODE of the form y dash equals f of t comma y and the initial condition y at t0 equals y0. The algorithm for the Ranjay Kutta method is given below yn plus 1 equals yn plus 1 over 6 times delta y1 plus 2 times delta y2 plus 2 times delta y3 plus delta y4 and delta y1 equals h times f of tn comma yn delta y2 equals h times f of tn plus h over 2 comma yn plus delta y1 over 2 and delta y3 equals h times f of tn plus h over 2 comma yn plus delta y2 over 2 and delta y4 equals h times f of tn plus h comma yn plus delta y3 For the Ranjak Kutta method, the finite difference equations or FDEs are explicit and require four derivative function evaluations per step. The FDEs, FDEs are consistent order of delta t power 5 locally and order of delta t power 4 locally or globally. The FDEs are conditionally stable. That is, alpha delta t should be lesser than or equal to 2.785. So this stability criteria needs to be met. The FDEs are consistent and conditionally stable and thus convergent. Algorithms based on the repetitive application of Ranjay Kutta FDEs are called Ranjay Kutta methods. So we will solve the example ODE problem given here using the fourth order Ranjay Kutta method dy over dx is shown here and we need to integrate this equation from x equals 0 to x equals 4 with a step size of 0 0.5 to solve for y. The initial condition at x equals 0 is y equals 1. The exact solution is given below. The function fn equals negative 2 times x cube plus 12 times x squared minus 20 times x plus 8.5 y at x equals 0 equals 1 let n equals 0 then delta y1 equals h times f of tn comma yn which is equal to h times f of t0 comma y0 which is equal to h times f of 0 comma 1 and delta y1 is evaluated likewise uh, and delta 1 value comes to 4.25 likewise we can calculate delta y2 value as 2.109375 and delta y3 value can be calculated as 2.109375 and delta y4 value is calculated as 0 0.625. Then we substitute the delta y1, delta y2, delta y3, delta y4 values, etc. into the fourth order Ranjay Kutta method, the main equation, which is yn plus 1 equals yn plus 1 over 6 times delta y1 plus 2 times delta y2 plus 2 times delta y3 plus delta y4 
here n equals 0 for the first step so y1 equals y0 plus 1 over 6 times delta y1 plus 2 times delta y2 plus 2 times delta y3 and plus 2 times plus delta y4 then y1 can be evaluated by substituting these values as 3.21875 by following the same procedure we can calculate values for y2 y3 etc now we will do the same problem using matlab so the fourth order range equator method the algorithm is given over here our initial value ODE is given the limits are a equals 0 and b equals 4 and step size is 0 0.5 the initial value is given as y at 1 equals 1. The Ranjekuta algorithm is given over here. So we will run this case with h equals 0 0.5 we have the first step y1 came out as 3.2188 That compares to our value that we obtained manually this 3.218 we got 8 because it was rounded now when you look at the graphical plots since this Ranjekuta method is a fourth order method with even a step size of 0 0.5 the exact value and the numerical value they match very closely. So we just try to reduce the step size to a lower value of 0 0.05 and run this again. So the plots are shown here and why value and y exact value they match pretty closely to summarize what you have done so far in this video we presented the fourth order Ranjekuta method to solve an initial value ODE the fourth order Ranjekuta method is conditionally stable the global error is of the order of delta t per 4 which is much better than the other methods we have seen like the modified Euler method and the explicit and implicit Euler methods. In the next video we can look at, assist, look at solving a system of ODEs. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions please post it and I will be uploading the code into your website and I will be providing details in the YouTube. Thank you.